So we're here. I'm making a grant. I got Robert Farrell, the Farrell Cat. Mm -hmm. First time calling him that. It's a pretty cool nickname. <laughs> uh, no, but uh, Robert actually has these for us to enjoy today. And these are from Three Barrel out of uh, Del Norte, Colorado. True, true. You want to say anything about them? I'll let you. I'll let you take the stage. Okay, Del Norte, Colorado, uh, <laughs> South Central Colorado, roughly halfway in between, like Alamosa and Durango area. They make a mean brick oven pizza as well. Great pizza, great beer. Uh, we've got a couple different flavors. The campfired smoked blackberry smoked porter. Got the mean bear. And that's a seasonal. This is a seasonal, yeah. That's you gotta, pretty cool. Typically, you got to get this in the fall. Uh, I've been hanging on to this one, especially for making it grain, because it's rather interesting. And then we got the hot trash. I'm, I'm excited about both of these. They've got really cool names, so a smoky, fruity one, and then a, a trashy, hoppy kind of one. And it says, like, plain and simple, trash cans loaded with hops, just dumped in there. I'm reading this wrong, but that's what it says. I'm, I'm kind of... <laughs> if you like the hops, you're going to like it. Yeah. Without a doubt. So let's start... I kind of want to start with the hop trash. Let's do it. Light to dark. So I like it. Uh, Robert also has these cool three-barrel... Brewing Company Del Norte, Colorado glasses uh, that we're gonna be drinking out of. Proper glassware. Uh, I'm gonna let you do the honors for this nice. hot trash. Good. So, let you yes, get the please. first pour. Please do. Hot trash, I still really like that. <laughs> it comes, I'm laughing. It comes right on up. <laughs> so we got, we got, uh, 98% head. There's there's a little head. See the... <laughs> oh, okay, try to... <laughs> you got it. I'm pouring this as light as I can. Yours came out a little bit nicer. Mine, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna like, come back in an hour and <laughs> see how these are doing. Hot Trash by Three Barrel. Del Norte. I like saying Del Norte. And look at this. Ooh. Well, let's see but if we can uh, if we can get any smells see. out of here. The head feels really, really soft. Yeah. Like I'm like I'm putting my finger and in nothing. Nothing, but also like I don't know how to describe that. It's like there's very little pressure. Very uh, little resistance. Very little, but still just the slightest amount. Like a really cold, wet. Mm. I don't know. Like. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Okay, let's smell it. I want to, let's see what you... It's got fruit. It's got like really Fruity. candy. I'm getting candy types of fruit. Obviously, trash cans of hops. Yeah, really trashy. I'm getting like sour candies, but not sour beer. That makes no sense, but I'm, I'm standing. No, no, no. I'm like, standing by that. I can see uh, not quite a sour mash, but... Okay, coming, yeah. Coming close. I'm also getting... Um, I had something good to say and I lost it. Oh, an Earl Grey tea almost, like a like a tea bag that's been like a cold brew tea. No, you I, can, it? I can taste the tea. By the way, the color is nice. Yeah, right? Really, uh, really thick and hazy. It's, uh, really bitter. Oh yeah, it's... Pretty thick, really dark for a, for a hoppy for a IPA. IPA, yeah, it is. It is dark, but in that's, maybe that's why I like it because I'm not, I'm usually not a big IPA fan. Like they're usually just too bitter. Mm -hmm. Like Leaving that so, lingering taste in your mouth. Mm -hmm. The interesting thing about this is I would have assumed that the carbonation would have just been like skyrocketing ultra mm -hmm. high, but the carbonation is actually really, really, really low. It's got that, that sweet aftertaste mm -hmm. that comes, and it's what? like it's bitter up front and then Bitter in the back, also. A little sweeter though, hanging around. A little bit of sugar on the back of the on the back of the tongue, but to me, it's like bitter from start to finish. But to each their own. Yeah. Um, but also, six point three percent alcohol. Six three. Yep. Six point three. Smoked blackberry, smoked porter. Whoa. Double smoked. Single smoked is good enough for me. Twice smoked is even better. Mm hmm. So campfire. This one's about. We called the. You called the brewery just a few minutes ago to figure out. Trying to figure out the ABV. And it's, yeah. she said it was about 6.0, but about she couldn't, six, she couldn't yeah. be 100% sure, but who can? 
No, 6.0 is about what I thought. I was just, it didn't say on it, so. All right, about six, that's good enough for me. Very little carbonation in these, which is very interesting. Yeah, the, uh, the head spectrum on these two beers that we just had are yeah. opposites. Ooh, I'm smelling it though, whoa. Yeah. It's like a campfire yeah. coming like, out of these got... glasses. I'm getting right into it, let's get right into it. Oh my gosh, like, beef jerky. That, I was gonna say bacon. Like, bacon, bacon is so, it's like, like if- Bacon, liquid smoke. Like liquid smoked bacon, and then you can definitely I'm get just that blackberry. So much ham, yeah. Get the your nose must be better than mine. I'm getting wow, no blackberry. Wow, like a really like a maple smoked bacon. That is incredible. Yeah, yeah, definitely some maple. Dark thick porter. You guys probably Dark can't see that, night. but there's no like translucent. Um, light coming through the bottom of this, which is at all. common in porters, but for this one, it, you could tell it's really thick. Wow, so much smoked pretty, bacon. Pretty yeah, cheers. I'm excited to try there, that. Right? Oh my gosh, and it's coming through on the taste. But right? now I'm starting to get that that uh, smoked blackberry, the sweet. the blackberry, right? Yeah, wow. Like, this might be the most interesting porter I've ever had it is, in my life. Yeah. It's, like I said, it's a very interesting beer. It's if you just like, like that smoky, dark, like, not not really coffee, like it doesn't have any coffee tones in it to me, but like, just that rich, dark. That's so yeah, interesting. I definitely get the blackberry in it, yeah. The, the, the ham, the smoked ham bacon flavor is yeah. really strong for me, which is really cool. Like that meaty flavor mm -hmm. in a beer is... That's what I've been looking for. So I think it's safe to say a uh, good food pairing with this would be bacon. Anything bacon? Blackberry uh, bacon? Anything oh. ham? I would like to try like a blackberry glazed, like smoked uh, pork belly bacon. Ooh. Mm -hmm. See, and I'm thinking I would take it with a nice blackberry Belgian waffle with Ooh. some like bacon on the side. Maybe even like sprinkle it on top of the waffle. Yeah, bacon uh, into the, like the waffles. On the waffle, yeah. yeah. I love experimental type beers like this are my favorite. And it's weird that they haven't, they don't really say anything about, wrong glass, bottle. They don't really say anything about the bacon, but you are getting a really hard wood. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I mean, we got a grizzly bear with a revolver and a pipe. <laughs> and I believe, is that a bagpipe that he's got? Or is, no, he's just wearing a flannel shirt. Right. And he's got the kind of like the, oh, it, it, he has a huge beard. Yeah, he does. Wow, and he's got kind of like the Davy Crockett uh, <clears throat> hat on, and it's it's Except funny because they say a slight smoky aroma, but I'm getting slight, all the smoky. Yeah, yeah. and you're kind of right good. at first. It's like really, like I said, it's, it's the most interesting porter that I've it's ever weird. had, and you're kind of like, do I like this? Yeah, and then it's, towards it's the very end, very in your face. Yeah, and it but it just leaves such a good. Um, what's that? What's, what am I looking for? Like, it, it kind of sticks in your mind. Like, it leaves a good impression yeah. on you. And yeah. you're just kind of like, you walk away from it and you're like, man, I gotta, I gotta show this to people. Like, yeah. Well, that's a, this is like nuts. I said, these were, these were two that I've had several of their beers. Like I said, if you can get to their brewery in Del Norte, do it. Smoked brisket. That's what I'm getting. That's, Ooh, yeah. that's what I'm getting. Yeah. Smoked brisket. Barbecue. Yeah, with mm. the barbecue sauce. Usually I don't yeah. like to, I don't like to bring darker beers on camping trips, kind of lighter stuff, yeah. but this, oh, perfect. Yeah. yeah, definitely a nighttime campfire, some roasted marshmallows, mm -hmm. go with yeah. it. Ooh, s'mores. Well, cool. Well, quality stuff, so. That was fun. Thanks for making it grain. The feral here. cat, <laughs> coming in hot. Without a doubt. Yeah, but this was making it grain. Again, Robert, and you are. Making it grain. Yes! Every time someone says something different and then I have to cut it and go back and I'm like, you gotta say it. Till next time, thanks to the feral cat. We'll see you guys. <laughs> I'm on back. Come on back, mom back. Uh, back. If you can get their hand, get your hands on a. If you can get their hands dirty. If you can get their hands. <laughs> Sometimes you think you know, but you never know. I wonder if nah, you made it granulated. Granulated? No. 
you granular. Yeah. Cut that.